Hi, welcome to <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Penelope, and you're welcome to Questionga. Questionga is a space where you'll be inspired, you will play, and you will find life and eat it in all its fullness with a big spoon. So today we are having a conversation on hosting because I feel like many people misunderstand hosting, and so I chose to host a very dear friend of mine who also is. Eh, I don't even want to say the word madly in love, but she is deeply, deeply in love with hosting. She lives for hosting. She thrives on hosting. And so I welcome you today to this conversation that's going to be fun. And hopefully by the end of the talk, you too can host a few people of your own. <laughs> so Jackie, you're very, very welcome to Kweshunga. <laughs> Thank you. I was just... Anyway. <clears throat> Huzzah! <laughs> Don't question guy, no question guy. Anyhow, but let's now go. this I guest know. who is warning oh me in my own house about hosting her, I don't even understand. Jackie, please tell the audience who you are and what you do. I've already told them you love hosting yeah. and you are so excited about hosting. Tell us a bit about yourself. So, so when you were introducing and talked about host, I'm Jacqueline Asime. <laughs> I remembered, no, no, when I was young, I actually wanted to be an air hostess. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Don't even laugh. But in the, in the so in the era that I grew up in, and I don't know why, I just liked the way they were smart, mm -hmm. always Walking pleasant, like always you know a certain shape and size. The trays don't fall. I know, right? And they bent, you know. So I think maybe that was my earliest inkling of wanting mm -hmm. to host mm -hmm. or be a hostess. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm glad finally in the place where I am in my life, uh, we can have this conversation. I am a lawyer, I work with Save Source, I love telling stories, and most importantly, I love, love, love. If I could do it for a living, the only thing I would do is host people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're living your dream right now. You are living your dream because you host people. You host so many people. Oh my God, I don't know anyone in my life, okay, <laughs> other than my mom and my grandmom, who loves to host people. Like all the time, there's, today there's someone, the next day there's someone, the next day there's someone. How do you do it? Why, why do you host people? What, what goes on in your heart when you're thinking about hosting people? What happens in your mind as you're thinking about, you know, Penny's coming to see me. What do I need to prepare? Yeah, How do I need yeah, to welcome yeah. her? How do I need to make her feel at home? Yeah. So just a bit about my background. Mm -hmm. I am born and raised a PK, a mm -hmm. preacher's kid. Literally, we lived, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> a local Anglican priest. That is literally what we do. Mm -hmm. You host and you must also be, so there's planned hosting mm -hmm. and then there's hosting that is impromptu. Mm -hmm. A parishioner has come something must be ready. So growing up in that kind of setting prepared me to know that one of the things one must do in their life is receive people because mm -hmm. I think that's what hosting is. Mm -hmm. It's receiving a person in your space, mm -hmm. receiving a person also in your heart mm -hmm. um, because I think that's where it starts that, that I must, because I'm going to hold you and you're gifting me your time and mm -hmm. I'm sharing mm -hmm conversation i'm sharing food i think it's a hard thing mm -hmm. i really mm -hmm. believe it's a hard thing so anyhow grew up in this home where there were always all manner of people yes. reverends yes. strangers yes. parishioners all kinds of it's people a reverend so, home it's open everyone so, so there, there are standard things want. that yeah. even in my house today there must always be tea mm -hmm. there must always be something to eat mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you can never have a moment where so readiness mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me is, is is something that is very key to hosting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and and ambience i think there was always um so i'm the first born <clears throat> When I was young, we had a house help that taught me a song, mm -hmm. Mistress Jackie Lini. And so when Please visitors, sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> and so when visitors would come, you know, those parents who, Iwe, come and, hey, come and <laughs> sing for <laughs> that guest. <laughs> so you go and, hey, they, and everybody's happy. So really, it is, hosting is about happiness. Yes. It's about receiving. Yes. It's about, um, so, so that's also what I aim for. The feeling, yeah. um, how do you want, when you host people, mm -hmm. how do you want them to feel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and what do you want them to experience not just in the culinary but also in the ambience yes. right so yes. it's a combination for me of those things but but learning them from literally from my parents mm -hmm. home about there's joy there's laughter so if there's, there's you know music has to be played yes. and oh my mother was a stickler for cleanliness mm -hmm. so when i'm going to host i literally am one of those yeah <laughs> It has You're to the be people spotless. who make people just be <laughs> dusting cobwebs everywhere. <laughs> and dust the spider too. Um, so, so yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, no, it's an amazing, uh, it's also an amazing treat because mm -hmm. it's not just about what do they feel, yes. but just when they have left my space. What do I feel? What do I feel? Yes. Just that satisfaction yes. that when that person was in my space, mm -hmm. I gave them my best. Yes. Yes. I, get, I catered to their every need mm -hmm. and they left blessed and left me blessed. Yes. I like that because one of the things that I think I love most about hosting is relationship. Yeah. It's, it's, hosting is the only way we build relationships mm -hmm. that I invite you into my space but I am also giving you a bit of me while you're in my space and so there's an exchange, there's a growth, there's a yeah. power that's that, 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 that energy that's yeah. building both of us. And, and I know that sometimes we get it wrong yeah. because we focus so much on the big things or maybe the small things and we forget the heart of, of hosting. Yeah. And I don't know any other person I would ask this question besides yeah. you. Like, what is, it, what is it you think people forget most times when they host? Because I, I feel like I've been hosted in spaces before and I felt like I wasn't welcome. And yet they prepared for me. Yes, like I, yeah, you walk into yeah. a space and you feel like, um, did they, were they ready for yeah, me? Did yeah. they really want me to be here? That discomfort. So yeah. what, what are those things that people need to look out for yeah. when they host people? So that that relationship is mutual, that yeah. I, I am coming into a space where I feel loved, but I'm also leaving a bit of my energy in the space yeah. that yeah. when I'm yeah. gone, Jackie is feeling loved and cared for yeah. and yeah. like she didn't waste her time yeah. spending over. time yeah. Yeah, yeah. with me. Yeah. So one thing, especially when it is planned hosting, because mm -hmm. it's different when people sort of yes. drop in your space. Mm -hmm. When it's planned, I think one thing that we don't spend time doing is knowing your guest. Yes. Mm -hmm. So who is Penny? What does she eat or not eat? Mm -hmm. I think people think, ah, oh, that's too muzungu. Yeah. Those but mm -hmm. yes, that detail matters because precisely, mm -hmm. I'm hosting, pe it's, it's about Penny. Yes. So if the hosting is about Penny, then I will do my homework. What mm -hmm. does Penny like? Mm -hmm. And I may not pick up a phone to call you, mm -hmm. but I will call around. Yeah. What is Penny like? What colors does she like? What does she eat or not what eat? What does she not eat? Yes. Um, is she the kind who keeps time? And you know, like <laughs> plan around, literally like plan mm -hmm. around the person yes. because it is about them. Mm -hmm. I think maybe when you don't feel mm -hmm. welcome, it's because mm -hmm. the hosting is about me. I've come to show off my, yes. and, and I, I guess that's where we get it mm -hmm. wrong. So really, 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 let's, it's doing Pay the homework yes. and paying attention to who is my guest mm -hmm. or who are my guests. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I think it's also paying attention to, to planning. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I learned planning from my mother. You literally plan it to the dot, to the day. Mm -hmm. How will the cutlery the be arranged? Hour, yes. What will we bring out? <laughs> what won't we? Like literally choreograph the thing That's as it's going on mm -hmm. so that you take care of any oopses right yeah. so that if something breaks you're not like, driving are like, wait for me let me come Let's you run, run to, to the yeah you know that kind of thing like like yes because because you planned it through and put it you're through, conscious about it yes yes in case anything happens there's a plan b there's and a plan c, c. like d, yes. i won't fall apart <laughs> as i'm hosting <laughs> right because I want to deliver, like mm -hmm. I said, I'm receiving you. Mm -hmm. So I'm careful how I am receiving you yes. in my space. Yes. So planning and doing the homework mm -hmm. about who is it mm -hmm. that is coming into my space. But even when it's unplanned, like always be ready, right? I, yes. I was raised a girl guide mm -hmm. and literally that's our motto. Mm -hmm. Girl guides uh, are always ready. Yes. Always, always, always. Yes. So um, 
as our African homes are, there will always be that unplanned mm -hmm. guest. So mm -hmm. do you have extra linen? Do you yes. have extra towels? Yes. Do you have extra soap? In do you case have, they choose or are you to going to, the when night. they come, start calling <laughs> neighbor? <laughs> so, so it, I mean, put yourself in host mode. Like, mm -hmm. it's always be ready. Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. be ready. Mm -hmm. Of course, with your tiara in place. <laughs> <laughs> Not the <that> whole. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's really really nice. So I I have seen you even when you walked in today to come visit me, you carried a gift, and sometimes people think, ah eh, no, she's carrying a gift to show off, or she's carrying a gift because she can afford it. But t t talk about that. Uh, how, why is it that some people just show up in spaces empty-handed or why do you never show up in spaces empty-handed because i've watched you over so many years and i have not seen you go into a space empty-handed what's that about so first it's a biblical teaching it literally there and i can't remember the verse or the book but mm -hmm. do not enter the household of the lord empty-handed empty-handed yeah, yeah. So if we believe indeed that people are a representation of the of Lord, God. they are made of God, yes. you do not enter mm -hmm. a person's house empty-handed. Mm -hmm. Even if it's plucking a flower along yes. the way yes. and bringing it with you, right? Um, but also, my mom also taught us that. Mm -hmm. Like, I literally, when I'm driving to a person's, I can hear my mother's voice. You were <laughs> Look, I know what <laughs> <laughs> how will I ever be said? How will it be said of me that I am Reverend Mugara's daughter? Showed up with nothing, not even water. So, <laughs> not even water, right? So yeah, I literally that's that's how we were grown and mm. groomed. And I think when people think gift, yes. it's it's not They're about the a size. Big thing. Yes, again, it's the heart, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. the heart. Even if it's a note, mm -hmm. surely you can write a handwritten note yes. to 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 the person that you're going mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. um, but I also learned to, uh, you know, along the years that, that, that I've hosted, I've also learned to give a gift as people are leaving my yes. space. So, yes, yes, you've come, we've shared, we've laughed, we've fellowshiped, swallowshiped. But, but now you're leave, leaving. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm leaving something with you. Mm -hmm. And the all-important thing also, the post, they've left. Thank you for coming. Yes, yes. Because you don't want to be like, who is they've good honored readers. you with I their know. time, with their, their gifts, presence, you know, yeah. they've so, been so there, also they've what loved you. After you. Is very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing all these <laughs> amazing things. Now, one last thing. There's, there's a thing that you do, and you talked about it in your intro, about ambience. And, and most times we just, you know, I've swept and... All the things are hidden <laughs> under the chair. We have hidden all the shoes they Wind. can't be seen. So we are cover. <laughs> and then you forget and send the child. And then yeah, the and then they open, open oh, and I know, right? Yeah. yeah. So talk about ambience. What, 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 what's going on in your mind? Even as you clean the house, you're expecting Penny or other guests. Mm. What's going on in your office? Because you only, you don't only host at home. You've hosted us in mm, your office. Yeah. You've hosted in your home what's that about your spaces are always unique Wh why do you do that why do you put the extra effort i th hosting is communicating mm -hmm. and when you communicate one thing i learned about uh, a coach who was coaching me on 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 public speaking yes. and communicating is whenever you're communicating ask yourself what do you want people to think feel and do mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. think of the head level, heart level, foot level, mm -hmm. which is purpose doing. So yes. in, in the thinking and feeling, then you're going to take care of the, the ambience. Mm -hmm. Because ambience creates, actually I think it, it creates that, that three level yes. communication. Yes. So it's really to remember that host, when you host, you're communicating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... What do you want to communicate it, determine it, and that's what you will deliver. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. always, always let's remember, to host is to communicate. What am I communicating? Mm -hmm. When Penny leaves my place, what, what will she I say? What do I want her to say? Will she say, I yes. felt forgotten, or I felt <laughs> hosted, and hosted, yes. Nice. And uh, yes, I know I said lastly a few minutes ago, but just one. one. <laughs> 
one more. yeah like one more, one more just please. one one very very last one so i i know that yes people come and they enjoy the space and then they go away and you say all these thank yous and it's it's all that but if you were to maybe let me put it this way is is hosting teachable is is it something because you 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 said you said you learned from your mom but you also learned from people being around you at this my big edge if i have not <laughs> been able to host people before if i do not know what it looks like to go into all those details is that something i can learn is it an acquired skill if i paid more attention to jackie and looked at the things she does can i learn it is it something you deliberately pass on to the people around you I think so. I think the short answer is yes. <laughs> and as I look at you, I've learned a lot of, from you about hosting, actually. And um, so it is, it, it, it can be taught. Mm -hmm. That said, and so, and so, uh, so the two things I know that I, I look out for mm -hmm. when I'm training or when I'm, when I'm being trained, receiving training, yes or when I go to a you place and I'm teach. hosted, mm -hmm. I'm always taking mental notes. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I think life is such that learning never ends. So sure. there's always a little thing I can pick out, you know? When I went to this room, how was it set? What yes. can I put yes. in my room next time I have a guest? Yes. Or when I watch, you know, so, so I think it's just to tune our minds. Yes, you can learn it mm -hmm. at any age. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can pick it up. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's intentionality. Mm -hmm. If you love it, you will learn it, you will do it. Yeah. That, that is my short answer. And because I love it, I'm always looking out for, okay, what can I improve? What mm -hmm. can I do better? Mm -hmm. How can I learn? I mean, if people can watch food shows and uh, home makeup mm -hmm. shows and try it out you should start a host <laughs> show i don't know but yeah i'm really it can be learned it can and be learned. and that that actually takes us back to where you started paying attention to detail mm -hmm. paying attention to people paying attention because people walk through spaces and they don't even notice the things that were in the spaces yeah. so that that i think it's killing ourselves in the art of yeah. paying attention yeah. Yeah, that when I walk into the space, what was Jackie wearing? What was she smelling like? What was she looking like? And I'm paying attention to all those details. Mm. And that way I can copy something, maybe not copy paste, but copy and improve or copy and destroy and learn again. Yeah. That, that, mm. that we constantly mm -hmm. are in that place mm. of learning. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. am so excited to even be hosting Why you today. <laughs> And I look forward to hosting so many other people that know so much about hosting and are excited about hosting. Like my friend here is, by the way, if she has not hosted you, I do not know which world you live in. But we shall leave you here now. Don't forget to Kweshunga and we are off to Kweshunga. Bye. With this cup. If you have to hold it like... Don't do this. You're going to do this and bring it.